We've got a third Impala for today and tomorrow. Going to install a carpet and put two new bottom sections on the front seats. So I'm going to go over uh, sort of a foam repair, quick fix for some problems these seats have. Here's the tools we'll need. Need the scissors. Hopefully, we don't need the scissors. There's a C clip right there, and it's put on this way from the factory. Once I get these two pieces apart with a flathead, I'm going to sneak in there with a hooked tool and pull it out. It has this longer stud that goes right in front of it. So when you get these apart, you have to separate this side a little more so you can clear that. And this clicks together. I've seen many of these break, especially in sun-dried interiors. It's seen a lot of heat and sun. I get brittle. Always be careful using this. Grab it with the bulk of your hand. Don't just grab the end of it. Break it easier. Hopefully that don't happen right now. Let's see. And she's crispy. Careful what we speak into existence, right? This one's going to come off clean. Just gonna work at it real slow, work my way around. It sounded good. I'm try to clear that stud and grab that clip with this hook tool. There it went. Watch your eyes. Usually give that a slight rock. Rock it back and forth to get it off. Because there's no metal inside there. It's 100% plastic. Alright, let me get on with it. I'm going to try to get all this on one clip. My camera only records 12 minutes at a time, so I may have to do a part two. We'll see. The next one is this hook. Always watch your fingers. There's a lot of metal that you can be cut on. It's just a J clip. So once you get that apart, I have two push-in clips here. This is a door panel clip remover. Rock that clip out. The new seat covers don't even have this section. I'll go over that in a minute. Sometimes these clips just in there too good. You almost tear them up to get them out. I have a box of new ones in that case. Sorry about the camera guys, I'm trying to work with a tripod and both hands. Now we got that J clip all the way around the bottom. Just gonna pull it straight down, unhook it. Somebody's went over and glued this. I've never seen the factory use glue. A lot of these are unhooked already from the leather on the top of the seat shrinking. We'll just flip it inside out. Other side's glued to. Good lord, it's a mess. So 
this clip is what's holding it in place. And I'll show you what it clips on in just a minute. Here's where they added some glue. 99% sure that's not factory. Usually this piece goes under this piece. They had it on the outside glued. But that's something, that's an area I correct when I do these seat covers myself. I extend that longer so it tucks further under this piece and doesn't fall out later. Now we have three hog rings that's holding this pull to the foam. I'll take some wire cutters and grab a hold of those and twist them out and or cut them. And my tripod won't reach high enough for me to show you that part. Velcro right there that holds on to the back of this backing. When pulling that apart, hold the foam down and pull the material back. Or you'll end up just ripping this whole piece of Velcro off the foam. So I'm going to attack these hog rings from this side because I can grab the, the back side of them right here and twist them apart. I want to grab the double thickness where they meet. I keep up with my hog rings. I don't like loose hog rings laying around because I've flipped a seat over before and landed on one and cut it up. I'll make sure those go straight in the trash right away. And that's all it's holding the cover to the foam and bottom. This foam comes straight off. get to the major flaw in this. This is a low mileage car so it's not seeing it too bad yet although it's beginning here. This is the driver's side so it's seen more wear. But these things start acting like a cheese grater and cutting right through that foam. And this foam deadens out quick in the middle. If you put a hand on both sides of that, right in the middle, right here at the dip, it's maybe an inch thick. And I'm pretty sure that was just as thick as it was back here to start with, which is about a good two and a half, maybe even three inches. So. I have the Super Flex carpet, which is almost a half inch thick. Sometimes I double it up, some triple, quadruple, whatever. A lot of times I'll glue a part to the back of this foam also. But once sandwiched in here, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So I'm going to put this in between. It's going to do two things. It's going to keep those springs from cutting through the foam. And it's going to push that bottom up a good inch. And get a little more lift out of it. You can take some carpet padding and put in between there and build it up even more if you want to sit higher up in the middle. I stay away from adding a lot over here because we want our edges about the same. They usually stay where they need to be unless you got a high mileage car. And we're going to need a company to start making the reproduction foam for these. To my knowledge, there's nothing available yet. So we're all stuck with using the old foam on these. Uh, I had somebody ask also about doing custom sculpted foam or they were asking what to do for a better fit. Yeah, we're definitely going to go into part two on these videos. Uh, if you change the shape of this foam on the top drastically, that means you have to change the seat pattern also. Like all these seams and stuff where it fits like a glove will no longer work. So anything can be done. 
Just more work, more time. Depends on what your vision is, what the outcome you want. So that's what I'm going to rock with on this one. I'm going to put that right back together. I'm going to need both hands to get all this fitted in place. This foam laps over here. It usually gets pushed that direction and probably will again. Maybe not with the carpet we added in there. Hopefully that keeps it up high enough. But you can see the molded lip on the back of this foam. And there's the mark where it was hitting. So I don't know. I say it's supposed to go over this bar, and that's usually how I put them back. But again, this is a low mileage car, and we can see the mark where it's been sitting there. Looks like since day one. So this was not flipped over. Let's see how it fits. Once again, sorry about the camera. Try to be gentle with you. If I get this in place, I'm going to lift it up again and show you sure I'll move that carpet out of the way too far. Do another video to show about the back also. I will go over that also. Doesn't feel right on this one. We're getting hung on the bolt right there too. 